structure of the human brain. It's often said that knowledge is power and what better way to gain power than by understanding the intricate workings of the human brain. In this blog, we'll explore the structure and function of one of the most complex yet fascinating organs in the human body. Introduction to the Human Brain The human brain is the most complex organ in the body, controlling many of our everyday functions and behaviors. Understanding how it works is important for us to comprehend learning, memory, emotions, language, and other cognitive abilities. The brain can be divided into three main structures, the cerebrum, the cerebellum, and the brainstem. Each of these areas has its own unique structure and specific functions that work together to create our overall state of cognition. The cerebrum consists of two distinct hemispheres separated by a deep groove known as the longitudinal fissure. This structure provides us with our voluntary, or conscious, movements in higher thought processes. It is composed of gray matter, white matter, and other specialized nerves that allow it to process sensory information from all parts of the body. Imagine this as a part of everyday life you struggle with, well welcome to a traumatic brain injury. The cerebellum lies behind the brainstem region and is responsible for regulating more subconscious movements such as posture or balance when we walk or run. It also helps to coordinate smooth muscle contraction that gives us fine motor control when wielding tools or performing surgery. Finally, the brainstem acts as a gateway linking between our motor commands evolving from our thoughts in the cerebrum with signals coming from both inside and outside our bodies through our senses like vision, hearing, and touch. Its core structure contains a series of interconnected nuclei controlling actions such as a breathing rate, consciousness level, and blood pressure control actively without us thinking about it. Meaning things we can do without thinking. When this is affected by a traumatic brain injury, doesn't consciously react, rather takes some work to complete. Anatomy of the brain The human brain is a complex organ composed of several distinct regions with varying functional roles. Abundant nerve cells and connections create a delicate balance between physical structure and chemical function that is essential for life. The anatomy of the brain can be broken down into three distinct regions, the forebrain, midbrain, and hindbrain. The forebrain consists of the cerebral cortex, hypothalamus, thalamus, and limbic system. The cerebral cortex is responsible for higher-level mental functions such as thinking and decision-making. The hypothalamus controls numerous homeostatic functions such as sleep, hunger, thirst, and emotions. The thalamus acts as a relay station for sensory information from our eyes, ears, and other parts of the body before being passed on to specific areas of the cortex to be processed further. The limbic system contains various nuclei responsible for controlling moods and motivation due to its connections with emotion-regulating hormones such as serotonin, dopamine, and norepinephrine. In which a T. B. I can make these become unbalanced. The midbrain consists primarily of two structures, the red nucleus which coordinates movements performed with both sides of our body simultaneously, and the substantia nigra which is involved in producing dopamine that helps in learning new motor behaviors or skills by providing reinforcement when objectives are achieved correctly. I t. B. I can cause the body to react unnormal and without balance by accident because of these parts of the brain being damaged. Finally, the hindbrain has four parts, the pons which facilitates motor activity by connecting motor neurons on different sides of the body, cerebellum which regulates coordination of voluntary movements, medulla oblongata which acts as an intermediary between spinal cord circuits that control autonomic processes like circulation or respiration occurred while sending or receiving signals from higher areas in our brains, and reticular formation which works to control arousal levels throughout our bodies by managing drowsiness or wakefulness at any given time. These three regions, forebrain, midbrain, hindbrain, make up the anatomy of the human brain performing their distinct roles in order for us to live healthy, fulfilled lives which is often denied when it comes to a person with traumatic brain injury. Brain Chemistry and Neurotransmitters The human brain is composed of billions of neurons, all containing an internal communication network that allows electricity to flow through them and transmit information. To accomplish this, neurons use special chemicals known as neurotransmitters which act like messengers to facilitate the transfer of information from one area of the brain to another. Neurotransmitters are located in the synapses, gaps, between two neurons and activate receptors on the postsynaptic neuron that trigger a process in the brain.
by understanding exactly how neurotransmitters work and how they interact with the physiology of different parts of the brain, it is possible to gain insight into neurological conditions such as Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's, anxiety disorders, depression, and many others. Neurotransmitters also play a key role in how we experience pleasure or pain, learn new skills, and develop memories. The four main classes of neurotransmitter are monoamines, such as serotonin, amino acids, such as GABA or glutamate, peptides, such as endorphins, and gases, such as oxygen. Each type has an important role in regulating emotions and behavior, cognitive processes such as attention span, learning ability, and memory formation. While some neurotransmitters have excitatory effects that stimulate neural activity, Others have inhibitory effects inhibiting or dampening nearby neurons. Different combinations of these chemicals work together to regulate different areas of functioning within our complex brains. Again, making a traumatic brain injury survivor have a more difficult time living a normal successful life. Brain structures and their functions. Neuroanatomists have identified many different regions of the brain, each with its own unique role. These various brain structures include the frontal, prefrontal, and parietal lobes. The frontal lobe is the front portion of the brain that controls higher-level thinking processes as well as social behavior and decision-making. The prefrontal lobe is located in front of the frontal lobe and helps regulate moods and emotions. Finally, the parietal lobe is found near the back of the brain. It helps in processing information about spatial orientation and movement. The temporal lobes are situated on either side of the head behind the ears. They are important for understanding language, interpreting auditory signals such as speech or music, and forming memories. The occipital lobes are linked to vision while also providing support for other sensory functions like recognizing shapes and colors. The cerebellum is located toward where rear head meets neck. It acts as a coordination center helping to maintain balance during physical activity and control muscle contractions during movement patterns like walking, jumping, or running. It also supports learning motor skills like writing or playing an instrument. In addition to these structures common to all vertebrate mammals, humans especially rely on a few higher-level structures that are either not found in other species or which exist on a much larger scale in humans than in animals, namely, Broca's area, language production, Wernicke's area, language comprehension, and hippocampus, memory recall. Our brains are complex organs that are constantly growing and developing. From infancy to adulthood, the human brain undergoes a series of changes that enable us to learn, remember, reason, and plan. Comparatively speaking, the development of the human brain is much more sophisticated than that of other species, meaning they should not be used to decide the success or failure of a traumatic brain injury. Brain diseases and disorders. Brain diseases can affect any area of the brain, leading to a variety of impairments in physical and or mental functioning. Common brain diseases include stroke, traumatic brain injury, dementia, infectious diseases such as encephalitis and meningitis, as well as psychiatric disorders such as anxiety disorder and depression. Stroke is caused by a blockage or rupture in the blood vessels supplying oxygen and nutrients to the brain, depriving parts of the brain of oxygen-rich blood. This interruption in blood supply damages brain cells called neurons resulting in a variety of issues including paralysis, difficulty speaking or understanding language and memory loss. Traumatic brain injury, TBI, occurs when an outside force causes damage to the brain tissue by forcefully hitting or shocking it. TBIs can cause long-term effects including coma, seizures, depression, and impaired motor functions, among other issues. Dementia is an umbrella term used to describe conditions that involve an impairment in memory, judgment, and reasoning due to physical changes in the brain's region resulting from Alzheimer's disease and related degenerative diseases involving nerve cells for communication within areas of the brain essential for mental function. Symptoms include memory loss that disrupts daily life and activities, difficulties communicating, changes in behavior, inability to concentrate, agitation, confusion, disorientation, impaired decision-making ability as well as changes in personality. Infectious diseases can affect any parts of our body including our brains.
The most common are encephalitis, which is inflammation usually caused by viral infections like mumps or herpes simplex virus that may lead increased pressure on organs within or surrounding the skull or meningitis, which is bacterial infection that affects membranes surrounding the spinal cord leading symptoms like fever, headaches, and vomiting. In severe cases, both can lead damage like TBIs due to operations needed to combat the symptoms safely while preserving healthy tissue. Psychiatric disorders involve malfunctions with how we think, feel, and behave leading combinations mood swings ranging from mild anxiety disorders like generalized anxiety disorder, GAD, where excessive worries interfere with daily life activities up until major depressive disorder, MDD, marked periods intense grief changing our behavior form social withdrawal up until suicidal tendencies. Treatment for these typically involves several combinations of medicine therapy provided by professionals with experience in cognitive behavioral therapeutic techniques. Brain research and technology. Advances in technology have enabled groundbreaking research into the structure and function of the human brain. Today, scientists are able to study the nervous system in greater detail than ever before. Sophisticated imaging techniques such as magnetic resonance imaging, MRI, and computed tomography, CT, scans are used to look at the inner workings of the brain. At the same time, researchers are making use of mathematical models and computer simulations to gain insight into how different parts of the brain contribute to thinking, feeling, sensation, and movement. For example, deep learning algorithm computations can be used to identify patterns in large datasets that may not be detectable on a visual level. Other predictive algorithms can be used to identify potential biomarkers for neurodegenerative diseases or predict which drugs may work best for treating certain psychiatric conditions. In addition to these technologies, scientists are now using genetically modified tools such as CRISPR technology to understand how individual genes influence behavior and cognitive processes. This type of research gives us valuable new insights into what makes us unique as individuals, with implications for everything from mental health care strategies to educational interventions tailored for each person's strengths and weaknesses. Finally, advances in virtual reality technology are allowing researchers unprecedented access into our brains during decision-making tasks when exploring an environment or responding emotionally. This innovative approach is being used experimentally with great success for disorders like Autism Spectrum Disorder, ASD, and obsessive-compulsive disorder, OCD. By studying how different brain circuits interact during decision-making processes, these techniques provide us with information about how we make choices based on our emotions or environmental context that could not be explored using traditional methods alone. Thus, we must remember that a computer has no tissue or and cannot operate on its own without malfunction. The fact that they might use their numbers to help with damaged cells is a scary process for one to deal with. In conclusion, the human brain is a highly complex organ with an extraordinary range of interconnected functions. It is responsible for our thoughts, feelings, behaviors, and memories. Understanding the structure and function of our brain can provide insight into how we learn and why certain areas are connected to our emotions. In addition to its role in helping us interact with the world, our brain also plays an important role in helping us understand ourselves better. Knowledge of its structure and functions will help us better manage our physical and mental health in the future. Praying Healing on a New Kinda Era, Funk, 